hey sh- uh, folks i'm shivam gatkar so i'm the product manager for embedded search box uh to start off embedded what what exactly embedded search box is it's a search box that you can add to any of your internet site now a lot of our uh, folks are working on uh, websites that your employees in your company might be using for various reasons from navigation to finding information and your internet sites need a good search box which can give you information not only about the news or the stuff lying that's lying around on your website but also that the stuff that they use right uh, like documents or the people that they interact with so how do you get those results on any website that you're already using so for that you can just add this search box on your internet site and provide the users with an intelligent workplace search experience so if you see this is the small code that we that you can add let me just this is a small search uh, it's a very small script code that you can add I, if we have developers here i don't have to uh, explain more how it's a basic css that you can use to customize and scripts that you can uh, embed in your website this is how it will show up you add it anywhere on your internet web page and it can be any uh, website that you use uh, the preference that our customers the existing customers have been using are all the popular home pages that uh, your users are already used to go to and whenever you add it will start immediately will start getting uh, suggestions that those are those are filled from microsoft search in bing and microsoft search gets this data from all your onedrive sharepoint files your uh, emails and websites from sharepoints and uh, even third party connector uh, feedback is soon to uh, come here and whenever if you click on it you'll be redirected to the microsoft search page and you'll see work results so to go ahead how does it help you right uh, so this is in your existing internet page you can get all the features of microsoft search with the very few small lines of code right and what are the features that are included in this you you get people search sites file search conversations power bi and a lot of other small answers which you, our users are already liking it if you haven't used microsoft search in bing i'll uh, demo it in a few minutes advantage that you get with esb or embedded search box is is the same search experience that you can go from windows search box from edge address bar and bing.com your users will land on the same search box that i showed a few slides ago and you don't have to worry about them getting this is the same search uh, experience and you don't have to worry of about giving them education about the search experience again and again you give them the intelligent workplace search in the same internet page it is free of cost it comes free with uh, e3 uh, e3 and the licenses above that you can customize the search box experience it's a very small development effort uh, from development perspective it's a very two weeks or three weeks of effort uh, i have not uh, accounted for any administration uh, efforts in this and you can customize it for the uh, to direct users to a specific vertical now before i go to what our customers think about this i'll just demo it so this is how it will look right and i'm just i'm not added it to any website but this is a search box you can just add and put it anywhere as you see uh, all the suggestion uh, here that are see that you can see here are coming from microsoft search these suggestions are sourced from uh, your od uh, your files that you have been using the sites that you have been interacting the people you interact with and all of them are personalized as you, as you see the all these people are the closest people that have worked it and not the random people so we we get the most most relevant answers here and if you click on anything you get to the microsoft search in bing page where you can see all the relevant answers and also even more verticals you can search from the windows search experience or you can go to the same search page from the edge address bar or the edge new tab page basically give take any search box you have and you'll re- land on the same bing search result page and you don't have to worry about educating your users again and again this is how mock will look like you can uh, add it anywhere and the code and all are on the documentation that is already live the features are i mean you can add to uh, the this is the basic code you can also put the fo- put focus uh, customize it and another way that our customers like it they redirect user to a custom vertical can you see uh, you see the, there are verticals like 
people group site files and if you have a internet home page which is a very which has a theme let's say a people theme or a uh, sites theme you have customized that search box so that users will land only on a specific vertical so i think the, that's pretty much uh, of the uh, about the product we have a lot of customers already and we have uh, we got uh, really good feedback what we are uh, now looking for is how we can expand it and how your users can benefit more so i'm open to questions and answers and please uh, feel free to jump, uh, drop your questions cool so let, let's see if there's any any ad hoc questions uh, so they're in the chat so so why is it rendering in microsoft bing page by design it's basically the bing is the engine behind of the scenes right yes uh, it is uh, the bing uh, bing work vertical so you always land on this Bing work vertical and it, this will be the uh, search result page that you'll, uh, your users will be getting redirected to. Yeah, and then Jim Duncan is asking, uh, have to be signed in the Bing with your work account for this to work? Is that a correct assumption? Yes, yes, uh, please be, uh, yes, your Bing AAD account or your work account, whatever, at the rate, uh, if you have uh, Outlook, and obviously you'll have those uh, as you're here. So those will be used for this uh, authentication. I also see how is the authentication working. The authentication, uh, you are SSO'd. So most of you will be at, uh, logged in into your Outlook or your Office uh, products or in Bing. If not in Bing, you'll be at least in Outlook. So we try to uh, SSO you through that uh, in Bing and you'll get search results from there, right? Uh, so the, the Microsoft Search in Bing is a com compliant uh, product. So we, we value your privacy and as you're using Bing AAD accounts, you don't have to worry about your data being leaked. Good. Uh, and, and then uh, can we limit the search result to a specific intranet site data like SharePoint specific list data? So can it be just targeted on a specific result? Right, so you can create verticals. If you're seeing this is a Microsoft specific vertical M365 CRM. We are very, uh, Microsoft admins have created this specific uh, vertical, wikis and my, uh, these are two one. So you can create your own custom verticals and this is the title that you'll use, Connector M365 to redirect them to the specific vertical. So yes, you can do that. Uh, the documentation, thanks David Warner for uh, pasting it. You can use this, IDs to redirect them to that custom vertical that you're creating. And I can imagine, I'm, I'm just recapping what you're saying. So we are using the Microsoft search, uh, basically index and, and catalog behind of the scenes. So basically as we are doing a signed on authenticated search to the Bing UX, it doesn't mean that we are using Bing uh, data behind of the scenes. We are actually using the Microsoft search data behind of the scenes. We're just basically calling Microsoft search data to the Bing UX and saying, hey, so this person is authenticated with this account. Um, can you get his results from his Microsoft 365 tenant? So. Yes, definitely. So that's uh, exactly right. So to add on to that, uh, as uh, Vesa said, right, we are not using uh, Bing public data or we are not even exposing your data to public in any way. Privacy is something that we value a lot. So your Microsoft search data is coming from your AD accounts and those are very private to your enterprise. The data is, is it's not even visible to us. It's uh, kept private and we don't uh, stores, uh, we don't use that kind of data. Uh, so that data will be private. In addition, the advantage that you get uh, in rendering it on Bing is that you get web related experiences which can be merged with work. So we're working with on vertical uh, various uh, features uh, where we are trying to merge web and work experiences to give you combined advantages, right? Uh, I So I don't want to uh, go into that. It's kind of, uh, 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 it's not on the track I'm uh, talking about right now, but you can explore Microsoft searching. Link. It's just about a work vertical that you can go and explore on Bing. Uh, you will have to use the AD account. I think this is still so. So the the questions related on the, on the on the comments related on security and privacy and everything else. So just to be clear, Bing is not the engine what we're using here. We're hitting the Microsoft Search. Bing is just a UX. Then, as you're signed in to watch your Microsoft 365 account, and we're just using then that to get to the Microsoft Search. So, I, I understand that it might feel, let's say, a new way of approaching the data. So, thanks, Visa. And uh, just to add on to that, uh, we recently, I mean, I think last week in Ignite, we uh, we have made Microsoft Search and Bing applicable or uh, available for even government cloud, right? 
So government clouds with their highest amount of security are also using Microsoft, will also be using Microsoft Search and Link. So security should not be a major, I mean, it should not be a concern. If you have any concerns, right? Uh, the, the link that was posted has also other uh, security and privacy related uh, pages. You can go and see how it's, uh, it takes care of your security and authentication. Oh, that's really good. Thank you.